Hi guys, Michael here, and uh, as promised, I'm going to do you a quick tutorial for those that want to find the to want to activate and use the lure console in the game. Don't starve. So for, I'm going to get straight to it. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to open up your your kind of my computer thing and go to your local your local C drive, and from there, now there's two ways you can do this. I'm going to show you. There's also uh, a quicker way I suppose really but you can go to uh, users and then usually and um, you've got some folders here and one's usually got your name on and it takes you through to the folder that has your know, my music my documents my video my pictures that kind of thing or some of you just have the folder already on your desktop it will have your name underneath it and you just click that and it comes up something like this anyway basically this is what you this is what you want anyway now from here you can click on my documents and as you'll see you'll get some folders here and um, these are just different games I'm allowed that kind of thing but what you want is this one clay and if you click on that you'll get don't starve click on that and then here it says settings click that and if you look at this part it says enable console now mine says true but by default that is set to false Okay, it'll say enable, e enable console equals false. So all you do is put your little cursor there, delete it, delete false out, and type in true. When you've done that, click file, and click save. And that's it, it's saved. Now, you've activated the Lua console. Now, you may, of course, you need to know, of course, the, uh, the console commands to spawn things in so let me tell you where you find them now there is a a, way, a a load of folders you can go through that will take you to a list of all the things in the game the problem with that is that it doesn't explain what exactly each command gives so what i tend to use is one that's actually on the um, wiki the don't starve wiki and this is it. It's the console prefab list, which is exactly the same thing. Now, I'll actually put the link to this page in the description. So, you know, go there, open it up, bookmark it, save it, whatever you want to do. But make sure you keep this link. Now, the good thing about this this one over the one that's actually on your computer is it's easier to find for one. And two, you get the kind of normal way of looking at it here before you get the... Your, the kind of spawn code here so because what you see here doesn't necessarily come here for instance if you look at a cave spider now in in the game it's called a cave spider but if you look at the prefab list it's called a spider hider <laughs> so according to this one whereas if you just looked at the prefab list that's on the game that, that you've got on your folder that comes that you get in one of the folders it would just say spider hider and you wouldn't know what it was it doesn't give you a breakdown and uh, there's other things as well like um where is it uh, bedroll for instance if you want to straw roll you have to put bedroll straw bedroll furry you know things like that so they don't always mean some do you know, bird trap is a bird trap you know deer clops is a deer clops so you know you some do and some don't but this one will give you a list. If you look, it's really long. Let me just scroll it down. See, it just keeps going and going and going. You can play with all these and that. And if you don't know what something does, all you do is just you know open it up in a new window, click on it, on, click on it in there. It'll give you a breakdown of it uh, in the wiki. So you can click any of these to find that. So this was actually a very good list. And as I say, the uh, the link to it will be in the description. Okay, so. Now you know how to open the console. Now you know how to find the uh, prefab list. So let me go in game and I'll show you how to use it. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in game. Let's just uh, go in. Now, the key to activate the console, again, I can only go on the fact that I'm using a UK keyboard. So, you know, set up. So, you know, if it's different for you, the keys and everything i'm afraid i can't help you don't say to me which one is it i come from such and such a country because i don't know you'll have to try different keys press different keys and see what works because 
the key it tells you to use wasn't the key for me either. So I had to press different keys till I found out what to do. The one it tells you on the wiki is the tilde key. If you don't know where the tilde key is, look at the far left side of your keyboard. If you've got the same layout as me, that is. Bottom left corner, you've got control. Move up a key, you've got your left shift. Move up another key, you've got your caps lock. Move up another key, you've got your tab key. And then above that, that is your tilde key. Now, if you press that, that's supposed to bring up the console, the uh, bar that you can type things into. For me, it wasn't. It didn't work. For me, it's the, you know, the key that has the at symbol on it? And just below is the, uh, it gives that little mark like you're using uh, contractions like haven't and it's and don't. You get that little high up comma. It's that key for me. I have to press that. And if you look, it puts it in, in the box form. It does actually put the little comma, high comma in the box. And I have to delete it out. That is the one that activates it for me. And then you just type your commands in. Now to spawn something, you have to type... I'm going to put all this in the description. So if you want to know some commands or how to spawn things or some helpful commands, then look in the description and you'll see them there. Feel free to, to, to make notes on it or copy and paste it out or whatever. You know, and uh, well, there'll be some helpful things in there. So if you want to actually spawn something in game, you type debug spawn and then you type, then you do a, a bracket, then a speech mark. Then, then this is where you type what you want. So let's say, for me, I haven't got no weapons. So let's pick a spear. Okay. Then you put speech marks, bracket. So it's just clo cause it just closes it off for you. Now, wherever your arrow is pointing is where it'll spawn. So if I click here, it'll spawn over here. So I'm going to spawn it right next to his feet. And there's a spear. So then we just pick it up. Now I've got a spear. Now if I wanted a log suit, again... You can debug spawn, but you don't need to type it out again. You've got the up arrows on your keyboard, the up, down, left, right. Press the up key, the arrow pointing up, and it'll put it back in for you. And then you can just delete that and then type what it is for um, a log suit, which is armor wood. And there it is. It's uh, picked up, and there it is. Now, if you want to backpack again, Press the key that brings up the console, push up, move it into the type field, into the type in, type say backpack, and point where you want it, enter. Now, not everything is what is what you think it is on straightforward. It's not straightforward, like a spear is a spear, a backpack's a backpack. It isn't always like that for some things. Some things like 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 you know, like a tree guard. We've seen what we've seen what that is. You know, if I want a tree guard, I can't. I don't try, type tree guard. I type leaf, because that is the lure code for leaf for a tree guard. Let's put him up here. And there he is. See, so you know, it's, it's important that you go to that prefab, that console prefab list that's in my uh, description, and that'll tell you the command, all the commands. So that's it. You can whatever you want to spawn, you can spawn. If you if it's getting late and uh, you need some heat, just go for a campfire. Put it where you want it, and they are oh, toasty warm. And uh, so there you go. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I needed to show you. We've got everything covered. Every, like I say, there's going to be a few little things in the description if you want to, like uh, God God mode, um, how to spawn numerous things of, of a of an item like you know usually when you debug spawn like say i do well like you saw we we um with the tree guard if i want to i could i could i could type a code out that'll let me spawn 40 you know tree guards in one go yum yum and uh so you know I'll put that in as well so you can you can use that. Just remember one thing though, and it is a bit of a disclaimer. You know, I don't use this console when playing my game normally. I'm only doing this for the for entertaining, you know, for the battle royal and to show you this. But be aware that, you know, it really does it can spoil game for you if uh, 
I know you might think me boring warning you of it, but you know it's only it's only right. It can spoil game for you if you've got something that'll put everything in game for you as easy as that. And also, if you do do videos, people will be quick to cry and and suck on a lollipop and tell you that you're cheating and then need therapy and all that kind of stuff. So, because they've accused me many times of cheating you when I didn't cheat. So, you know, be aware of that. Hello to you guys, coming to say goodbye look. Anyway guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Now remember, I don't know much else. I can't tell you what key. If it isn't the tilde key, the one I described above the tab, and it isn't the one I use, then I have no idea. You're going to have to press different keys till you find the one that does it, and then it's that one for you. Okay? So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Say bye-bye to you guys. Don't then. <laughs>